Hey gang, Scott here. Adobe added a new feature to Lightroom very recently for removing distractions. They've got two different things, one for reflections, one for people. And in this video, I'm gonna show you about the people one because uh, that happens to me a lot as a landscape and travel photographer. There are people in the photo that you might really not want to be there. We have the uh, ability to remove them today. We have the, the Gen AI tool, generative AI to, to remove all things, but the distraction removal makes it easier. And, and I wanna show you how to use it and what photos it, it works well for and other ones where it might fall short. A couple little tricks about you know what to watch for when you're trying out and leveraging this new feature. So let's go. Let's begin with this photo. This is the kind of photo where the distraction removal really shines. We have a photo, the subject is clearly the architecture. There's a few people moving around. So this is a busy place. How do we get to distraction removal? We go into our retouching area and we have a new panel, distraction removal. We open that up. You've got two options, reflections and people. We'll be talking about people in this video. We just open it up, let Lightroom, take a look at the photo, figure out what's going on and find the things it thinks are people in the photo. And when it's finished, it comes back with this kind of selection. And uh, it's really that simple. This really just speeds up the selection part of it. And sometimes the selections are spot on. Like this is, this is really good. We'll go ahead and just hit remove. The AI will think, and it does that whole generative, you know, AI remove for you. And then we're basically done, right? This, this is, this is finished, right? Close that off and, and we're all set. So, you know, that is as easy as it gets for using this tool. Now, of course, no AI brush is magic. There are times where it, it doesn't quite get things right, or your photo might be a, uh, have, you know, a composition or the subject might be a little bit um, more difficult to figure out for the AI. So that's what I wanna go through in a few more of these examples. So this kind of photo that we just did here, this is a great, uh, you know, use case. This is like when you want to go reach for distraction removal straight away, where your subject is clearly not a person. Um, let's look at another example that's similar to this, but I'll, I'll show you some spots to watch for uh, in both the selections and uh, trying out the results. So let's have another look at a different photo here. So here we are again, similar kind of scene. The subject of the photo is clearly this building. It is not the people in it. We go over to our distraction removal open up people, let the AI think for a bit and see if it finds all of the people. And it does a really good job at that. Like we zoom in and we look around the backdrop. You know, there's a person here that I didn't initially notice. There's a person here. We've got several people going through here. But uh, a couple of things I want to point out here. Notice how the selections sometimes group people together like this, as well as here, these two folks here and then this person here. Uh, same thing for these two in the background. Um, oh, another person there I didn't even notice before. So that's um, that's one thing when I'm looking at the selection it made, I'm keeping my eye open for, uh, because the, sometimes the more aggressive you are with a selection to do an AI removal, the results might not be what you want. But let's see what we get here. So we go ahead and do a remove on all of these people at once. And we get this result. And at first glance, you're like, oh, this looks pretty darn good. And for the most part, it is. Um, let's look over in this side of the photo here. You know, it rebuilt all the, the, the iron work. This is all good. Maybe a slight artifact here, but uh, I wouldn't worry about that or I'd tidy it up with another tool. Um, but then over on the left-hand side, if we pan over here, where's my, my panning? Oh, I'm already panned over. Um, you know, I have this, the, the, the way that the, the street lamp is, it, it kind of just stuck it out over here. Uh, and you know, this is um, a little soft because it was a little bit of a large selection. And the car in the background kind of turned into something that I don't really understand, right? <laughs> we move that away. See, the car kind of became this almost like a tram. And then the street lamp that was based here, you know, kind of disappeared and went floating. And so, you know, what, what can we do in this case where, you know, I've, I've paid attention to those selections, I would reset, go ahead and let it find those distractions again, but we can delete things. You, know, you click on a pin, highlight it, and over on the right-hand side, you see the little trash bin, you can do that or hit the delete key. Say, all right, you know, that selection, I'll do on my own. You know, and maybe the rest of them were kind of okay. Great, go ahead and remove those. 
And then for the remainder of the work, I'd go back into using, you know, one of the more, uh, you know, the, the tools that we've had previously. And so in this case, you know, maybe I'll start with this person here as I'll take care of removing this individual first. And I'm going to hope it rebuilds the street lamp for me uh, a little more cleanly. And it looks like it did. Now that's much better. And so on down the line where we can take care of some things, some selections that weren't really quite what you were after. Uh, let's, let's drill down on this again. I'm going to show you a third video here, the video photo here, where, um, where the, there, there is a person that I do want to remain and be part of the scene. And so paying attention, looking around at what selections it's made and then deselecting things that becomes important too. So let's keep going. So for this photo, I, I want the, the man on the bike. I like that. That was really kind of anchoring the photo for me. But I'd love to just take away the other people in the scene. You know, that's not really adding to the story. It's about, you know, a person cycling through the city. So we'll go over again into our retouch area, distraction removal, let it find people. And the very first thing I'm doing is selecting the, the person on the bike and hitting the delete key. And notice it, it lumped in these two folks here as well. So I'll already have to retouch those away on my own. But this selection out here is already catching my eyes. Like, you know, what what's out here? That, oh, that's not a person. Okay, I don't need you to do any work with that. And then starting to skim around. Is this a person? You know, delete. No, it's not. Is there a person here? You know, delete. Nope. You know, so it, it's, it's detecting some things. There's a person back there. I can see them here. I'm not sure why it thought there was a person there, but kind of paying attention with a little more of a critical eye going, all right, I see a person there. I see people here, obviously people here, people here. Um, didn't pick up this individual, picked up something else. So I'll just remove the selections that really don't um, belong, taking that quick peek there, when, especially when there's a lot of them. And you see something like this outlier that was at the far left corner. That was really what first prompted me to go, uh, okay, maybe uh, maybe Lightroom, you're, you're, you're choosing things that aren't really people that need to be removed. You know, go ahead and take care of that. And then for uh, the remainder of it, we close that out and we go on to our, you know, our normal selective uh, generative AI, you know, take care of those folks. And then that one other person that was out here, go ahead and hit remove. You know how this part works. You've seen other videos on that and taking care of uh, some of the other outliers that you have. So you end up with, you know, more of the photo that you really wanted to capture. In this case for me, you know, this person here on the bike, and it looks like my selection got too aggressive. It looks like I took away one of those, uh, one of those uh, barriers right there at their feet. So I'd need to redo my selection a little more cleanly, but you get the idea. Last example that I want to show you is where the, the nature of the scene, the nature of the photo, the distraction removal, the detection of people that are distractions, it, it just falls short. You know, some scenes, it's this is just not going to work. It's like any any tool that we have in our toolkit. There'll be scenarios where it works really well. There'll be scenarios where it doesn't. And here's an example of a scenario where it doesn't work really well. Now, me, the photographer, when I captured this, my subject was really this woman here crossing the street. I just, just like, you know, just that moment in time like that. And so, well, I don't know if I would remove all of the people because this is a busy street, right? And that's part of the story here. But certainly at least, you know, this woman here, this woman here, this gentleman here, you know, maybe the man in the, like the, the, the pink t-shirt. So what will distraction removal do and what does it find and what does it consider that are distracting people? just the two on the left. And I don't really have a facility to say, let me add more. You know, that becomes a job for traditional, you know, uh, generative AI or generative like fill type tools. Uh, so you know, I can go ahead and proceed by removing these folks. But this is a, this is a case where you're not going to get that uh, time savings from find me all the distracting people, click a button and move on. So, and that's really kind of the key takeaway I wanted to give you for this video is there are certain photos where, you know, distraction removal for people works really well. When you have the subject of your photo is not a person, it is a scene and there are just a few people in it, like the first couple of photos we looked at, it will do very well. Uh, when there are more elements that might be considered a person, 
keep your eyes on are there selections that are being made that are uh, too aggressive. You know, you're it's uh, selecting something that isn't really a person. And then in some scenes, you know, it's you know the, the nature of the photo. It's just not going to lend itself to distraction removal. Well, then you fall back on the traditional generative AI remove tool that we have, and go ahead and and deal with any of the cleanup that you uh, you might have to do. And uh, you know, in those cases, you don't get the the, the speed bump, right? <laughs> I should say speed bump. Speed bumps slow you down. This is a speed increase. Distraction removal speeds up your workflow for a lot of cases. Hope you found the video helpful. Questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.